Hi guys, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well and that you've had a wonderful week. So it's time for Friday book haul. I have a decent amount of books to show you. When I got to the store, um, I found out that the recycling had been done the evening before. I thought, oh well, I had found a couple of books that I was going to buy anyway. Um, but I went out and there was still a fair bit in there and I got some real gems. So we'll get straight into it. So my usual assortment of dictionaries and that. I can't pass up these little ones especially because they're so cute. I mean, I've only got little hands. This one is Langenscheidt's Universal Dictionary, German, English and English to German. Just love the size of the pages. So cute. And then I got a Collins Mondadori English, Italian to English and English to Italian dictionary. And this is Collins Dutch to English and English, or German to English and English to German. So there are a few interesting ones. This one's 1953. I love the marbling on the outside too. That's really neat. Um, two crossword dictionaries. I do like them for just finding words. And I found a bookmark. It's a nice pretty one that. So probably cover over the bottom. And reuse that. 1989. Beautiful picture on that. A Norfolk Island map. Figure out how to open it. Opening that is all right. It's the closing it that's probably going to frazzle me. I like the pictures up the top. That's pretty cool. All right, grab this pile. So this is preserving fruit and vegetables in the home, New South Wales Department of Agriculture. Love that front page and the colours on it. I don't know if it's got a date. Maybe 60s. Some of it's missing. Let's see if I can look that one up. A 1956 by the looks. So that's quite old. Doesn't look to have pictures. I love that. Guinea pigs, love guinea pigs, and this has a few cool pictures that'll be great to fussy cut out. They're just so cute. We used to bath our guinea pigs, wrap them up in a towel on our laps while they dried, and give them carrot. Such a sucker for animals. It's the first time in my life too where I haven't had an animal. <laughs> in the house so <laughs> missing it a bit but just keep thinking of all the hair and the pooping and the maintenance that puts me off uh, this is how to draw horses so it seems quite old this one and upside down that's weird This one is 41, so yeah, that is quite old. We've got quite the collection of horse books. So I thought this can go in with those. <laughs> That's about my level of drawing ability. Uh, Horseman's sketchbook, a 1978 Hallmark engagement calendar. So that's got some gorgeous pictures. I'll just I hold this up. I get used to how to use my camera on the tripod every time I do my book hauls. That's gorgeous. <clears> 
<coughs> excuse me, drawing wildlife. Seventy-two. I'll probably just use these as um, rather than using it to draw, I'll probably just use them as pages. I'll be pulling that one out from my son's journal. Might have it made by the time he's fifty if he's lucky. Got some nice sketches. So of course these are all the books that I grabbed out of the recycling bin and I'll show you my purchases at the end. A Man the Explorer, I'm just checking the cover on this one because, oh yeah it's just plain grey. just thought I might be able to use it for something I want to do but it's not quite what I want. This is 73 this one has some cool pictures in it somewhere some of your vintage style and I like that sort of thing one is a geographical journal it says number 72 and it says 1928 on the outside I don't know if it is that old oh is that just it's got blank pages at the start didn't they that oh, it's very strange There's a whole lot of paper for me to journal in. Yeah, 1928, July to December. Ooh. It's got some geographical some maps. The Gilbert map. I won't fiddle around with them too much it is quite an old book so I don't want to kill it the pages are lovely a few pictures in there that's quite fascinating definitely lots of paper I can use I'd love to check the copyright on that one look at that that's lovely the writing on it That was a good find. I got the first book of heroes. I like the cover of this actually. Might be using this for something. Yeah. I don't know if it has a date, so I might be looking that one up as well. I can't read it, it's too small, so I'll check that one out. Look how brown the pages are. I'm loving that one, eh? One of these scenic wonders of Australia. I've got so many of these. I'm pretty sure there's some really cool pictures in them, so I keep grabbing them. Um, 2000 and oh no, 1976. Reader's Digest. I think it's got illustrations. Yeah, every now and again it has a pretty cool illustration, which I like. And the maps, I like the colour of the maps in it being the browns, but yeah, you get your botanical illustrations. Right, 
frog that's called one to fussy cut if you can see it yes Insects, an illustrated survey of the most successful animals on earth. Seventy-nine. So they're quite cool. Nice little journaling cards. Pages aren't too glossy, so I can fold them up for envelopes and stuff. Cool. For Photography. I don't think there's too many illustrations, but yeah, like the picture of the bees and that I definitely would uh, keep for my bee journals. And the butterfly ones, or oh, ladybugs. And these gorgeous pictures. Very nice. Exploring Australia's Great Barrier Reef. I thought some of the pictures in this are beautiful pictures. It might be nice for my sea theme journals. So this is 89. But yeah, gorgeous pictures. Weedy scorpion fish. Creepy looking, isn't it? Pretty, but creepy looking. Quite a nice size for a page too. You're tipping. things work the universal encyclopedia of machines now this one might be really cool to do for steampunky sort of stuff 70 73 it's got lots of little diagrams yeah cool nice map pages look at that I yeah, love that one. You never know what you're going to find in the bins. So this is a nice eclectic lot that I got today. Rocking horses. Pretty cool. Don't know if that has a date. No. But yeah, it's got rocking horses. I remember having a rocking horse when I was young. Probably one a lot like these ones. So that's really cool. This is Milford Trails. Now I'm pretty sure I grabbed this because I really like the colour of the cover so I'll be using that one for the cover because when you look in there and there's a couple of old photos but otherwise it's um, boring but yeah nice color this one is dolphins and whales you might have to do a whale themed journal sometime Or a journal with a porpoise. Ha ha ha. Funny today, aren't I? Oof. <laughs> it just looks like a rock with barnacles. <laughs> they are really neat. Make good tags out of them. For a minute there, I thought that was a photo. It doesn't look like it's in the actual book. A 
Australia's Amazing Wildlife. It's very hard not to grab um, any of the gardening or the um, animal ones. Um, this is 81. I did put a few back today, so I sort of can't take them all home. <laughs> I'm trying to tell myself that. Spider alert! <laughs> Another beautiful bee picture. It's got some illustrations. Froggies. Beautiful owls. Whatever that is. Oh yeah, curly. Bit moody. Picture history of world art. I don't mind using this sort of thing um, as background filler pages and that. In journals. Uh, 73. looks like it would be interesting to um now what do they call like glue book it's a certain term for when you get a picture and you deconstruct it a bit and add things that anyway that sort of thing altering we'll just say altering the page a bit and sticking some other stuff in here in the arches so i might have to do something like that one day i want to do everything that's the problem not enough time and energy and too much that I want to do. I'm sure we're all like that. Poems of Banjo Patterson. And then I saw it was illustrated by Pro Art and I thought, oh, nah, nah. <laughs> but then I looked and I thought, well, you know, it's definitely, you can tell it's Aussie themed stuff. So maybe for people's Australian themed journals. So it's got the poetry and the and for pro art that's not bad <laughs> so, not that I know anything about art and I really haven't been following him I've just seen him on the ads messing up people's carpets so <laughs> I'll grab that the illustrated history of ammunition I really don't like violence and guns and all well, that's funny because I watch all sorts of stuff on Netflix the most violent stuff but <laughs> I don't like um, guns and all that sort of stuff much you know and war or anything but um, this one fascinated me with the pictures in it again it might be some of the pictures are a little steampunky like the diagram I really like those. So I'll just grab the ones out that I like. Draw 50 Famous Faces. This has a couple of me start pages that I ripped out of the other books. Got some green ones today. to look at the date on this one doesn't really matter but yes I'm not not sure what I'll do with this Don't, I might give it a go drawing them sometime just for some fun if not um, if I ever do art themed journals I think, think pages like this folded and put in as pages will be a nice bit of interest to add Little Mouse's Painting. There are a few of these books that went out, the kids' ones, but um, trying to get a bit more specific about the types of um, pictures that I want in them, but I really like the pictures in this. I love the border for starters. And it has, yeah, gorgeous pictures. 
but I love these little ones especially because they can be fussy cut. And that one as well. Beautiful colours. Use a lot in that one. And there were these colouring books and activity books. There's was this etch art that got thrown out. Don't think I'll do the etching. It does tell you how though. I'll be able to cut these bits out and do something with them anyway, but it came with the um I don't know what for the stencils. That's what I might be able to use. Letter stencils. Oh, it looks like someone's done some etching there. That's quite thick. So I'll be able to use that for something. <laughs> Giraffe one. That one's just been started. But it's quite thick board that, so I'll be able to use that for um, journaling cards, whether I covered it cover it or not and try and do something with it. That back or else it will end up everywhere. Got some cardboard that I can use for packaging or art. There's pretty patterns colouring book. There we go, fill a page for a doggy journal. Some have been done. Oh, one for a tea journal. Some cupcakes. There's spectacular animals. That's cool. Oh, that's lovely. I'll definitely use those as well. This is our wonderful world, British wildlife. Beautiful illustrations in this one. Hedgehogs. Oh, squirrels. He doesn't look very friendly. Snakes and frogs and foxes. Beautiful page. So that's really nice of the book. There was a zoo sketchbook. Art teaching resource. So yeah, I'll probably put put the pages in um, animal themed journals. Range Extension 99 in Graphic Design Handbook Supplement. So this just has like some yeah, fonts and that in it. But add a bit of interest. I can make little journaling cards and tags out of those. I looked at this and I thought, no, nah, not really worth keeping. But then there was another one which my colleague showed me and I was like, ooh. <laughs> So I grabbed them both. They're big, pretty neat, collaged, I reckon. So then we got, I don't know why I grabbed this. It might have just been in one of the other ones. Something about our drawing pen. Hang on. It's got some weird, some of this weird material or something in it. Isograph. Roach ring isograph. Hmm. Anyway, it's got this stuff. I will use that for something. Now, this is the big book. Oh, look, it's got a colour swatch thing in me jiggy. That'd be cool. It is graphic design handbook again. Pretty sure 
this had a whole lot of lettering in it somewhere. Yeah. Heaps of it. Probably good to um, go through and see which ones I like and make a note um, and then find them on my computer if I can to use. The ones that I like the look of. Put that there. Now, which pile do I want to do next? Um, this one. So I got some gardening books. So this is Noxious Weeds of Victoria. But I did like some of the pictures in this. And some of the black and whites. They look quite artistic, a few of them. A few good illustrations. There was a set here of Alan Seals Garden Books of Perennials, Climbers and Creepers, Pests and Diseases, and Shrubs. Some nice pictures in these. And creepers and Climbers, much the same one would suggest. Mm -hmm. Pests and diseases. So I don't think it's illustrations. Oh yeah, there's a few illustrations. And the shrubs. I'll flip through it quick because it's sort of all the similar. Got this. I got a bit excited. It was fungi, soil fungi and fertility. I thought it might have a whole lot of like cool fungi picks or something, but it's not. It's just like writing in that. But I sometimes really like to use, like if I'm doing a mushroom journal, then it would be cool to um, make tags and journaling cards with these pages and then put the pictures on top. So yeah. Doesn't look right there. There's a picture, that's about it. <laughs> All about Australian bush gardens. Sixty-seven. Beautiful colours in this old books of the flowers. That's a really neat illustration. I think this had some cool waddle pictures and that as well. Yeah. I'd use for the Australiana theme journals in Waratah. Alan Seals Garden Doctor. What did this have in it? Oh, here we go, illustrations, but they're all pests and diseases. <laughs> A nice book with lots of illustrations and they're all gross ones. I'd still use them, why not? And the bugs. Woman's Weekly Gardening Book, Alan Seal again. It must have been Chuck out Alan Seal Day. Not a 
lot in these, so I'll be able to break them down pretty quick. Though the pages, if they're strong enough, they'd make good um, envelopes and that. And now with the complete Australian gardener. illustrations in these ones. Some nice ferns. Trying to find a nice illustration. That's pretty. Oh yeah, a few illustrations. lots of pages and then there was a whole lot of sewing and crafty stuff there was creative surging illustrated it's a good one for sewing crafty journals I love the illustrations Have to make lots of ephemera out of those bits and pieces. Vogue easy sewing. Nice retro pictures, colours. So I want think 70s maybe for this one. Oh 85. Magazines galore. So I got quick stuff to sew. So I thought, like pattern pages, I might get some ideas of things I want to sew. Um, and I might be able to just use bits and pieces for crafty journals. Beautiful holiday ideas. So that sort of thing I can make a journaling card out of or put it in as a folded page in a Christmas journal or a crafty journal. Christmas crafty journal. So, and the pattern, you know, I can um, copy that and try and make paper holly leaves or fabric ones for embellishments as well. So lots of ideas. Threads. So I won't show you through every magazine I've got. But I'll have a quick flip through each sort of different one. So yeah, lots of size, got lots of thread ones. There were some old, I don't know if these are patterns or what, they were just loose in there, but I love the colour on them. English how to trace out a pattern from the bird of coloured pattern charts. Oh look, it's got a whole lot of stuff in there, but I love those pattern pages. Someone's magazine pullouts looks like. Is that a pattern? <laughs> I'm just looking at that makes me tired. <laughs> what the? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that put anyone off. Anyway. <laughs> cool though. <laughs> And look, they're in German, I'm pretty sure too. But the looks, so. so that's really cool. English supplement. A few of those. Uh, quick and easy cross stitch. I used to love cross stitch. But if you don't want to do the actual crafty, the um, pattern is sometimes quite nice to put into journals. Uh, Knitwit, yeah, creative design. News, Nitwit, again. So news, so news, so news. Oh, some books over, so I've got room. So yeah, I've got a few of those. So there's this 
American carousel art. I thought that sounded fascinating. A bit like the Rock and Horse book, but newer and it's carousels. Carousel horses or whatever. So that'd be right, fussy cut. Maybe. Uh, inspiration. So it's got a pattern in the middle that I can use. It's nice to cut out and use somewhere. Oh, this might come in handy for something I'm working on. So I'll put that down to the side. Oh, indoor plants, better homes and gardens. I get so much stuff. I like the pictures in that one. Colour in your garden. Annuals. More sewing ones. Some quilt ones. I don't actually quilt, but pictures of quilts can be really cool. Nine patch pizzazz. Decorate your garden. Thought that might give me some ideas in my own garden, maybe. Quilts around the year. But as I said, the patterns can be used for your paper and that as well. Then, oh, I've left some of my, I think these are the favourite ones that I got out of the bins that are coming up next. This it is something adventure, no? Yeah, the adventure of travel. So this one is 1948. Look at the pages. Been written in by the looks. But nice and old. I think I like the start pages the most on that one. And there is this, which is Francis of Assisi. Assisi. Hang on, these are pages I've ripped out of something else. Spirit of the Hills, I just like the starter pages of that one, so I took them out because the rest of it wasn't any good. I had a picture, some blank pages. So I love the writing there. William with love from Marianne, August the 19th, 01. It says there. Beautiful old picture. 1898 this one is, so nice and old. Tell you, I just like this one because it's so old. You can feel the um, indent of the type. London Town, a tour of Victorian London. These the pictures in this remind me of Kate. Oh, I can't remember her name now. I love her um, illustrations in books. Kate, Kate, can't remember. But they remind me very much of hers. So. Some of you will know who I'm talking about. That's even if I got her first name right. Of 
gorgeous pictures. Eh? And there was Butterflies of South Australia. I'll have to check and see if I've already got one of these. Um, because I wouldn't mind keeping one for my own interest. It's mainly just your writing in black and whites, but then it's got some of uh, just a couple of pages of plates, which are beautiful. It's so on there's a plate. This is the Laurel Household Guide. As you can see, it's in really good condition. I don't know if this has a date on it, but I love it. All the old recipes and that, so I think that's really cool for a retro cooking journal or something. Laurel bathrooms are inviting. And all the little adverts are really neat. This one is an America in pictures, pictures of many lands. Again, got beautiful writing in the front cover. You can tell it's very old. Nineteen sixteen. This one. believe that this one was in the bin. Um, Alpen Flora gifted in 68. Look at that. Is that not just gorgeous colours? I'm going to treasure this one. Love that. Birds of Australia. This one is seventy-three. It's got black and white illustrations. Really nice little sizes. Colors. Yeah, I think it has plates in the middle like the butterfly one. I do love those black and whites. Yeah, plates, lovely colors again. If you can hear that, that's my son dying on his computer playing some racing game or something. So yeah, beautiful pictures on those plates and lots of the little black and white ones as well. And then the last one, I've had one or two of these, I think. But they're so big, I can see why people don't want to buy them really. Um, this is Birds of Australian Gardens. This one is 80 and the pictures are amazing in this. They're huge though. I was just saying I can see my battery light flashing. I was hoping I'd be able to get through the whole video, but no, I, now I'm gonna have to blimmin' edit the thing so I can 
and put it together. All right, so now I am up to uh, my purchases for the day. So they had a box in our sorting room that was full of Christmas books. So of course, I had a little peek through there and I grabbed these two. So I've got a Christmas posy. And this has your glorious little pictures. I love using these sorts of little pictures for journaling cards and even the little poems and that are cool. And there was a treasury of Christmas. I used one like this uh, last year. Don't know if I'll be doing much Christmas stuff this year, but at least I'll have a pile for next year. So this is 95, this one. Great borders there. But again, just beautiful pictures that can be cut out and used. Lots of those borders. And then this, I love this, the Enchanted Gardening Book. So ideas for using plants to beautify your world both indoors and out. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So this was in the kids section. 1997 I just love it my workmate spotted this one uh, the art designs of the times labels I love the labels because they're always a cool shape and size for um, journaling cards and other embellishments World Guide to Mammals. I love the pictures in this one, so I had to get it. 1976. Doesn't look that old, really. Look at the beautiful pictures in there. Quite a nice size, too. was waiting at the door when I got to work there was a massive pile of books out the front of the store because someone thought they'd do what they do at secondhand stores and you know they're not meant to bring their stuff until the shops open um, yeah but someone decided to leave just piles of books and they weren't all in boxes or anything either so I had to go I was trying to wait for one of the other volunteers to come to upset truck him in but he was a bit late so I ended up doing it myself just to get him inside but um, yeah, there was this gnome book. I've got one of these already and um, they're really cool so I grabbed myself another one. And why not? They're like three dollars for these big ones. So. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Love that picture. 
so that is it for my book haul hopefully that one makes up for the fact that I wasn't able to do one last week um, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend stay safe be good and craft heaps that's what I intend on doing see you later guys bye